So we are at Embedded World 2011 here at uh, Seco, yeah. and you're showing an x86 dash ARM cross platform. Exactly. Uh, welcome to everybody. We are in the Seco booth at Embedded World 2011, all 12142. Here we are presenting uh, the new project made by Seco. It's uh, a revolution, let me say, for the x86 and the ARM technology because now we, thanks to our Chameleon philosophy, like to know that, we realize uh, the Seco Q7 cross platform. Now I can show you what, what is the Seco Q7 cross platform. This is the first cross platform in the world that uh, gives the possibility to the customer to realize its own carrier board that is completely compatible with both technology x86. This is an Intel there? Intel Atom module, see Q7 yeah. from Factor, and now there is here the Q7 from Factor with the ARM module. It is OMA. 3530 Cortex A8. It's completely cross platform, it's the same. It's, it's completely the same, exactly the same. What is the, the benefit to use this kind of, of approach? That the customer save the cost for the development of the hardware and mainly for the software because with our development kit, the customer receives the access in our website, secoq7.com, where he can create his own account, private account where you can download the schematics, the bill of materials, and the design guide. And with the, that, this documentation, you can realize its own cardboard, fully compliant in Q7 standard, so you can use any kind of Q7 available in the market. But the most important thing, you can get the benefit to use also the ARM technology, because the Q7 was born for x86. Yeah. Now, thanks to Seiko, was born also for the, for the ARM technology. Here we have the same Windows C6 image for both technology and uh, you can have the same benefit using the same operating system. But in this case you can use the, the this kind of technology, you can save the power, you can also reduce the cost. So this, this little board, you have a bunch of them over there, yes. can you explain a little bit what it is? Yes. Here we are, we, we show the all our plafond of products in Q7 from Factor. We divided this product into two sections. The first section is for the X86 product. The second section is for the ARM product. Here we have the Tigra 2 in Q7 from Factor. Here we have in uh, Cortex A8 dual core with the GeForce 9000 integrated inside. Here we have the OMAP 3, 35 and 37 family. And in the top there is the newest OMAP 4 available in, the, in September with all BSP that the people can download in our website in the private access. Here we have also the Freescale family. Now here it's shown the MX51 and the entry level product, the ARM9 MX28. So the customer has a very huge platform of products that can move from the X36 to ARM and vice versa. Can move from the ARM to X86 only with the swap. So what is this kind of a device there. Here we have this uh, form factor. Yes, this form factor is, uh, I'd like to show this one is the Tigra working on the same uh, cross platform. Here is a showing an HD movie and uh, what is the Q7? Q7 was a, a standard for the embedded market, was created two years ago, a sec of a, was created a consortium where Seiko was a founding member with also other German company, uh, leader in the embedded market. And now this uh, form factor is uh, becoming a real standard because uh, it's uh, um, what, uh, it's, uh, it's um, let me say uh, all board vendors join in this new standard. So the 95% of the board vendors has their own Q7 modules. What is the module? The modular philosophy is uh, uh, well accepted in the embedded market because you can have the know how the customer is on the carrier board and the board vendors supplies the module, the CPU part. The CPU part is the most expensive in terms of R&D development and software development. In fact, for this reason, Seco, for the ARM technology, also deliver in our, when you uh, buy our module, we deliver also the BSP ready for Windows, for Linux, and for Android. What is BSP? Uh, we have the BSP for Windows C5, C6, and C7, the Compact 7. 
we have the Linux, uh, the most important distribution, and for the also Android, the last uh, release of Android. So there is a, a huge possibility, an open office possibility for the many different applications. How many of these uh, uh, are sold in the market? How big is this? Consider that uh, the Q7 was uh, formed uh, two years ago and uh, is ramping up in the embedded market because embedded market is not so fast like uh, the consumer market. And uh, it's, uh, we spent uh, one year to, to, to promote this module and now the company is accepting the standard and we have already available in the market around 100 K pieces around the world of this form factor. Just your, your company or the whole? Yes, exactly. But the whole industry is, is big? Uh, it's, that, very huge because, uh, it's very huge because uh, you have to consider that all board vendors has their own Q7. So we do, that respects the specifications. All right. So it's in the, in the millions, tens of millions of devices every year. <laughs> we hope this uh, will be this kind of success for this form factor. Anyway, you have to consider that the, cons the embedded market is different from the consumer market. There is not so this kind of uh, volumes comparable with the consumer. But there is uh, another, um, uh, let me say, uh, specific uh, um, issues of the embedded market. If there is the long-term support. Yeah. So this module has to be available for many, many, many years, at least 10 years. So you can understand that for each roadmap, you have to provide uh, seven or ten years for each uh, skew of the single components. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks you. Very cool. See you at the Embedded World 2011, booth 142, all 12. All right.